Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A huge shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. If you want to become a Patreon or YouTube member to support the channel or even play with me on my server, click the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to 70s that I drop as fool's mod. So, I decided to do this with you guys on camera. Uh, what I'm going to do, instead of making a new base right now, a new old base, we first need to make sure this one's up and running. Just in case the other one doesn't dry or finish in time, we do have a base. Oh, hello. We do have a base that we will be able to use and we wouldn't have to worry. Alternatively, we could just take over another PRI. Oh, hello. Uh, we could just take over another PRI over here and get done that way. But I really want to try and see if we can't make our own bases and not rely too heavily on other PRIs. I mean, it's too easy just standing on a roof and only focusing on the zombies above. We want to be able to focus or have to deal with the zombies below. Now, what I'm going to do is... We only have this one entrance over here, right? I want to make sure that when the zombies fall down, there's a staircase going up this way and connecting over here. Because I think the massive problem over here was the fact that they were running into the walls over here and they weren't, be able, they weren't able to do some real damage. So what I'm going to do is let's just place this bike down so we can get away if we really need to. Just in case of wondering who comes by or surprises or whatever. Okay, so we're going to do this. And we're literally just going to fill this in. Now, I should really make all this steel, right? But since we're going to make a new base, we don't want to waste any resources. I'm waste, already wasting a ton of rebar over here. Just filling this hole in. Now, if I make more stairs, there shouldn't be too many zombies exploding on the steps over here and making a, ma a mess. Um, I do need to actually ma make sure that the first few stairs over here are uh, reinforced titanium or steel or something. That way, at least, we don't have to worry about zombies wrecking the stairs in the beginning of the horde and then we don't have a base. We want to make sure that... we Ooh. Remember that's what it was, a cooking pot landmine. Uh, we want to make sure that the zombies just pass up, down, and they just keep on repeating that process. We don't want them aggroing over here. This was a case of zombies aggroing or hitting each other at least. And yeah, you guys can see the results. This was actually really insane. This base was so close to breaking. Because if they destroy the stairs and come for you then, then you have a massive problem. You can actually make this um, rebar as well. Uh, instead of just saying, actually, let's just do it. Basically, I want to make sure the zombies don't get stuck on anything over here. By doing this, they have to fall down onto this layer. Because they are higher, so they fall down onto this layer and then onto the stairs. But yeah, uh, with other defense guys, we're going to have a full pit over here again, but just three wide. And I'll make it so wide on top, so the zombies can't see me from down below. We want to be able to focus on all the zombies that come for us. Oops, that's a waste of steel. Oops, okay, now let's just quickly drop the steel. I want to be able to focus on all the zombies coming from the top, not the ones vomiting at us from down below. So if I can just get that done, just quickly want to repair this so we don't, uh, know we are safe for the ward. Although guys, saying we're safe for the ward really doesn't matter or mean much if we're not going to be safe for the ward. Oh wow. This was actually shallow shallower than I thought. I thought since, because look at this. If I place a block there, this is going to drop a little bit. I thought this was three deep because of the... The, the, the fact that the dirt over here has so risen. But the dirt's actually over here not that, as high as it looks. So it was only too deep. But then again, just that too deep was enough for them to start breaking the stairs. We cannot afford for them to do that again. Unfortunately, I'm using most of my rebar right now. And I'm going to have to use the rest to make the stairs now. But hopefully this way we don't have to worry too much about all the zombies. We just need to make sure. Guys, my biggest mistake over here was the fact that I didn't account for the zombies running into the sides. I even said they might run... Hello? I even said they might run into the stairs and then we'll have a problem. There's a night stalker close by. I could hear him talk. Hello? Uh, 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 yeah, like, like I'm saying, I even said uh, they might run into the sides of here, but it won't be that bad. And then what happened? During the horde, they ran into the sides and they nearly wrecked my base over here. So I'm going to have to make sure that when the zombies fall down over here, they can turn back and just get head upstairs to the top. They're not going to have to fight over stairs and then cause everything to cave in. And as requested, guys, I'm going to leave a little bit of the building in just to see how this video does. But usually these kinds of videos where I don't cut out the building or repairs or whatever, um, it's far less positive than you might imagine. Okay, we need... I wonder if I can actually use this laser workbench to make some concrete as well. Because these laser workbenches are actually really, really awesome. Also guys, I'm going to make my wood bases right next to each other over here. I don't want to make them behind each other because you saw Vomit does an insane amount of damage at the back. Um, technically, I need to make the other base at the back over here. 
So that if that one fails, I just have to crawl through to this one and then we can use this defense over here. Just turn it on. These defenses are going to basically be like backups. If one fails, we have the other one to worry about. Uh, or to, to be thankful for. Okay, do you make... No, I need titanium. Oh, not titanium. Um, concrete. Concrete. Yeah, see, so you do need the concrete mixer. Damn it. I just need two stairs. So it's either flagstone or concrete. I don't have any clay on me. If I had clay on me, I can actually... You know what? Let me just quickly get some clay. Although this does not give you stone. Oh, uh, sand. This over here, for those who don't know, looks like sand. But as soon as you hit it, it's not sand. So you can't get any clay as far as I'm aware in this biome. Even this over here is stone. Yep. And so it's just going to be faster to quickly make those two blocks. Basically, I want to fill those stairs in. And I need to make even more. Although, wait, I do have a few. Yeah, I have a ton of stairs left. I don't think it's going to be enough for what I want to do. But for now, it's enough. I still want to make these pillars steel at least. Or reinforce steel. So that any zombies running through here won't destroy my base. It's going to suck coming back and then realizing, oh crap, your base is gone. Okay, now. I want to first do this one over here because this already bothered me from the start. This technically needs to be a full staircase as well. I wonder if I should make it a pyramid design from the back of here. Just do the stairs to this side as well. But I want to have staircase going up here so the zombies don't feel inclined to hit over there. So if I make a pyramid design, it's not going to work that well with that side. Unless I do that side first and then worry about the design. Okay, so stairs, stairs, stairs. There you go. Copy rotation. You could do on face rotation for those of you wondering, but if you misplace like I just did over here, it gets annoying having to take these out. Even though it is easy enough to take out. Okay, I need to make sure that those are always upgraded. Oh, stairs, hello. I do this. Thank you. Three stairs. Oh, wow. Yeah, anyways, um, I'm going to have to upgrade that to reinforce steel at least. Even though I am making this over here now. Just so we can, uh, are sure, or just have a little bit of relief that, okay, it's not going to cave in too easily. Because they have to first break through steel. Although, behemoths and incubi demons and stuff, guys, they do an insane amount of damage to those blocks quite easily. Okay, yeah, that's why I have the titanium on me. And the steel. I'm going to have to waste a little bit of steel right now. But, what I need to do, I need to make that floor steel at least, where the zombies fall down and explode. But, for now, we're going to do this. So that's 20 more steel, and then... 10 titanium. This way at least we know this place isn't going to cave in too easily. Although this at the bottom should also be as much steel and stuff as possible. So that if those blocks break, these don't have to carry all the weight. Technically this whole platform up here needs to be titanium. But we just don't have the steel for that right now. Okay, so this one connects over here. As you guys can see, to go to titanium with this thing is 9 shots. It's insane. But it's nice and fast. It's way faster than the claw hammer. This block, I actually wanted to make a full block, but that doesn't really matter right now. It doesn't seem like the zombies do a ton of damage over here when they fall. It's mostly the damage they do on that side that concerns me. Make sure all our blade traps are ready. Guys, with the next defense, do you think I should have blade traps in there or not? Because like I said, then we're going to have to go basically like this. There's going to be one hallway, one blade trap on the bottom, middle, head, and then top for the behemoths. That's how we're going to have to do this because the blades can't interfere with each other. They can't get in each other's way. Make sure this is all repaired. Technically, this roof needs to be titanium as soon as possible. Because you saw what the ladies did. What I'm actually considering doing is either dropping this roof and redoing it. Whoops. Um, or what we could do is just put plates upside down over here. That should ensure the zombies can't get through. Or just, yeah. What I could do is put, uh, play spikes. Then they're going to have to break through the spikes. Remember, for some reason, they have no problem going from the bottom through the spikes. But on top, they have to break these spikes first before they do anything. So if I can do that over here, just place some spikes on the inside and I have to go through that as well. It'll at least allow me to see the succubi demons and destroy them. With the next base, however, the roof is going to be like 10 high. And then there's going to be electric fence posts going through the roof. So if a succubus decides to come through, she'll get shocked. But I'm going to have to decide how I'm going to do that. I was thinking... Yeah, I'm going to have to play the, the, uh, put the electric fence posts on the sides. Because if I put it over here and there, this could get damaged from the vomit. And she might just go through the roof where the fence posts are to get to me. So I'll need to put them on these sides. We don't have to really worry about the vomit right now. The only problem with this defense over here, guys, is the fact that... Ooh. I just thought of something. I could make two entrances instead of just having this one over here. But they're still going to rely on that over there. I could just go a little bit further out, make a pillar. 
and then bring it in over here instead of making two staircases. Remember, you don't want the zombies to be able to get up from the south and the north because then there's too, uh, too many zombies going to be up here with you. But if you were to go and make just an another platform so more zombies so could decide, do they want to go there or here? That's going to allow more zombies to get to you, but not as much as two sides. That might actually just work. Nice. Okay, yeah. Uh, the stairs over here are drying right now, so at least we should be ready for the next horde. Um, technically, this needs to be titanium as well. This whole upper floor, guys, if this block over here goes, the bottom one, then these will be doing all the carrying. And since they're not titanium, this whole thing will cave in. The nice thing is, because I'm just going to be doing a one hallway thick over here, we won't need as much titanium as over here. And I might just pick up a few of these blade traps, like the middle ones over here or something, and remove these poles over here. Although, this is going to make zombies jump. If they jump, they won't vomit at you because they have to jump to get to you. It all depends. We have so much we still need to do. The only problem right now is we don't have enough iron to make a ton of rebar over here. The floor needs to be steel all the way around to the defense. Not just the pillar in the middle. And also the pillar in the middle, speaking of, I only want a, I want a lot thinner. So instead of having this go all the way around, this is nine blocks. Or five, yeah, nine blocks. So it's a nine by nine. Over here, it's only going to be like a three by three, but titanium. Hopefully the zombies then don't go for the pillar. Unless... Doo -doo -doo. I can make like a layer titanium, layer steel, layer titanium. That could be a five by five. So if the middle... I just need to quickly map this out. If the middle is titanium, this one's titanium, and this one's titanium, that's five by five. But that might be too much titanium. The middle two won't take too much, but the outer one will. So with the outer one, we might be able to do this again. But we have just rows going titanium instead of the whole thing. Because as you guys see over here, they didn't really do a ton of damage, although the zombies haven't been falling over here. So in that defense, I'm going to have to make this whole area titanium and the floor, so where they fall, they don't have to do damage to the walls. We're going to have zombies spawn in soon because I've been talking too long. Okay, uh, the stairs over here are drying. I'll wait until they're completely dry before upgrading any of them. Now I just need way more rebar. I don't know if I should go mining another biome or if I should just go looting and scrapping everything I come across. That's also a viable option. We looted this one. So let's just keep on going with the outskirts over there. Uh, while all this dries and gets ready, we also need do need, like I said, a ton of iron and steel and stuff. So this way we'll get all the iron we need and we'll be able to loot and get more stuff we can sell. We don't want to just be doing the one. Technically, for those who don't know... Oh, I can put the roof in over here. Yes. Uh, for those who don't know, all these iron pieces over here. I want to see if I can see it from the top. Yeah, that iron over there. This biome is littered with it, but to go around, running around... You'd actually get more iron from getting boulders than from that. I feel. Unless it's a different biome, then you wouldn't have to worry too much. But yeah, I wonder if we shouldn't just quickly put this roof in. So I'm just afraid that if the roof's not here and there's a wandering horde, a succubi demon will definitely be able to notice us. But if there's a roof on, only if we make a ton of noise will she notice we're here. I do want to make a hatch still so I can get out like I've been doing. Or just on the side of here. Make a hatch there so we can just crawl through and get to our horde base. Uh, then we don't have to jump on top. I do want to be able to jump on top, though, because of the fact that we're going to have a farm up there. But that shouldn't be... Oh, speaking of farm. While I'm on the topic. Also, guys, I've put more concrete mix over in here. So, 6k in each of these. I took the sand out. And then 6k new concrete, um, just the cement over here. So, as soon as these are done, I'll have way, way more concrete mix. For now, though, let me just quickly do this. I need to take this out so I can pick up these two uh, re re rebar blocks over here. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make my farm now. I do need to first quickly place a hatch over there. Otherwise, the zombies will be able to see me. So, let's see. Building supplies. We don't have any wood left, unfortunately. We don't have any iron left, unfortunately. Ooh, Jean. Wait, where's all my... There you go. Forged iron. Not great, but okay. So, we just need a hatch, right? Do I need the other... Yeah, I need the other iron for the hatch. This iron. Oh, uh, how much would I get for scrapping one of these? Just seven. And I need... 40. Yeah, that should be enough for now. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Luckily, this isn't a POI the way the zombies respawn, but that could have been bad. Imagine this was a POI I took over and I accidentally picked that up. All the zombies would just come spawning in. That was almost a massive mistake. Okay, so the forged iron we can put away for now. The concrete mix, also we're going to put away. Guys, we're going to go looting at night. You know how scary that is in this biome. We need way more iron, but I'm going to get that through looting. And then we need to put this away. Now, advanced rotation. 
I don't care which way the door opens, but it would be nice. I think this is going to open to the right. I just can't remember where the latch is. I think the latch is on top right now, so it's going to open to the bottom. So if you do this, it should open upwards. Yes. Okay, cool. I just want to be able to get out of here easily and just drop down. Then I don't have to have these rebar uh, blocks over here. And I can just also, when I want to go up to the farm, climb a ladder over here. Which reminds me, I need to put a ladder over here. Uh, but we don't have any wood at the moment. That's unfortunate. This is the last little bit of wood we have. So I think before it gets too late, we don't want to be out here looking for trees while there's zombies wandering around. I don't mind going to pure eyes when there's zombies wandering around. But just being here, building at night is super, super dangerous. So I'm, I'll rather do the looting at night and then the exploring during the day. That makes sense, right? Uh, no, 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 no. I need rocks. There you go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need ladders as well. That should be enough for now. Almost forgot why I actually wanted the wood. Although this is wood as well, I think. This pole. Electric pole. Okay, so this whole area could actually be made inhabitable. All you'd have to do, I'm just going to show you guys on top, is make this whole floor yours. So there shouldn't be any uh, destroyed stone over here. And you can put walls around. And you can have lights over here. And it could just look really, really cool. Let's just test this laser rifle. Did it kill him? Nope. See, the laser rifle isn't especially powerful. It just stops the regen. So this is going to be perfect for behemoth and stuff. Especially demonic behemoth. You can do a ton of sneak damage with this thing and it won't regen. This is basically like having a titanium uh, crossbow on you. And don't worry guys, I will be testing other weapons as well. But for now, I really first want to see if we can't get some stuff done. Let me just check over here. We have 9 skill points, right? So we have to go for all the classes. These have to be maxed out to be able to get the completion. Oh, oh not. Okay, I thought you have to have all your perks of your board, but I don't. Nice, I'm going to get the completionist. Now, for those of you wondering, what's completionist? It says here, um, gain 25% extra XP. So that's going to be XP boost. Nice. Uh, never suffer ill effects from death. That's going to be epic because I die every now and then. Increase crafting tier by 2 for all future tech. So at the moment, when I craft future tech, you only craft level 51 and you have to combine to 80. If I get this, two levels mean it's going to craft level 71s, combine there, just three of them to get to level 80. The 51s, I think I had to combine like six or seven of them to make level 80. Um, and level requirements, complete all classes, all the masteries and technology crafting perk. I thought by all classes it meant that I have to get these skills as well. But now it means that I can just, I'm almost there. So upgrading these blocks over here will give me the like 10th one, giving me the completionist and then voila, more XP. Oh no. For a moment I thought it was wondering, oh, let me just turn that off. Turn the night vision on. Ooh, demons spawn in all over. Now, I want to show you guys this, right? Oh, nice. It does. Okay, so stealth does help, but not always. Just some of them actually really die when you hit them like this. I want to actually make sure. Oh, also, um, my block damage I have on 125%. What I want to do is I want to lower it to 100. Because when I'm hitting zombies like this, what ends up happening... Just quickly kill this one. Uh, what ends up happening is the bullet goes through the zombie and I do a ton of damage to the floor behind. Especially since this is destroyed stone, you don't want to have holes all around your base. Just because you've been shooting zombies. Okay. Also, guys, this place. Over here. No, I think it's this one. This is a tower that goes all the way like the skyscraper, the one we've never looted ever before. Um, that place is insane. Wait, from that I thought I had a mining helmet on. Um, basically, there was a ton of these sleepers over there. And we are at such a game stage right now, for those who don't know. We are game stage 1400. Then at night, we're getting wandering. Uh, where are you? We're getting roaming demonic behemoths. That is insane. I don't want to waste too much ammo over here. If they're close enough, I'll try and kill them. If not, then... Oh, see. There you go. There's a wandering demonic behemoth over there. I saw him just now. Where is he now? Did he just go out of view? No, he's still there, I think. He's right there. I can actually see him through the fog, but that's about it. Now he's going to uh, start attacking my pillars over here. Okay, let's just let's not let him have uh, attack the pillars over here. 
You need to be careful now because it's night time. He's gonna be faster. Yep, this is one of the fast ones. This means either there's a footballer in the area, or it's just because of the nighttime perk. But sometimes I'm looting at night and we don't have zombies as fast. These demonic behemoths aren't always as fast. Hello. You're gonna vomit at me? I'm gonna jump over it. Or not. Hehe. <laughs> We just hit the block underneath because we're trying to hit his head. It goes straight through the zombie list. So we keep on constantly damaging the floor because our block damage is 125. But that was just a perfect example. Just as I... Hello? Just as I mentioned about the demonic behemoth wandering around, we actually get a wandering demonic behemoth. What are the, answer, uh, the chances of that? Okay, so let's just quickly put the rest of these in and I'll see you guys now. Okay, so we are almost done filling in the roof of here. Don't, uh, don't worry, guys. I remembered about the topsoil just now. On, or the farm plot, rather. Um, I'm making about 160. We just don't have enough clay. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Um, I need that clay for some titanium quickly. So let's stop this side. I do quickly just need to make a little bit of titanium over here. I want to make sure we use up all these blocks. So for now... Do, 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 no, it's going to be over here. It's going to be over here. We stop this one. And we just make as much titanium as possible. Um, do I have my lucky little goggles over here somewhere? I could have sworn I had lucky little goggles. Yeah, even I think under building supplies or something, I had a little bit more wood. Now I completely forgot about it. I keep sometimes dumping stuff in chests where they're not supposed to be at all. And then I completely forgot about them. Or forget about them. I think for iron stuff and steel stuff will scrap for now because we need the iron. Yeah, ooh, there you go. Ready glasses. Put this on. I just want to get a little bit of a discount quickly when making this. I should actually also stop the rest and make them again. So we make 132 more blocks. Uh, you know what? 132. Divided by 4. It's about 66, 33. Okay, so I want to make... I uh, just want to do this quickly. So we're going to go... 33 of this one. Come on. There you go. 33. And then also... I want to make sure we go for cement again. To fill that up the back. The stack to 5,000. Yeah. So 5,000 plus one stack of this. So 33, right? I need to do this with all of them quickly. Just so we have our stuff cooking in. And then this way we'll have way more. Wait. Why did I just... 33. Oh. I'm typing behind my mic. So I didn't really see what I was doing just now. Uh, but yeah. This way we can make sure we have a lot more titanium. That if we run out while building. We know, okay, there's still some left over here. That's if I remember, because sometimes I just forget so damn easily. It isn't even funny. Okay, cement. Good. There you go. I do need to make some casings and tips, so that I need to do as much as soon as possible. But first, now we need this to finish crafting. Uh, 33. Yep, perfect. Thank you. And make some more cement over here. Wait, how do I have more? Oh, that's the stuff they crafted. From there, I was like, how do I have more left on what I started with? Damn. And unfortunately, we'll have way less plots over here. But the nice thing is we do need to um, consider water on top as well. Now, my problem is, guys, will the water go through the roof or not? I'm going to have to chuck a little bit of water to test it. Because if it goes to the roof, I might just have to make like a, a layer of wood. And then on top of that, the farm. I'm just afraid it's going to leak through these blocks and then my base is going to flood. Although, I don't really have a ton of resources to try that. So, we're going to go for it. If it fails, we just wasted a ton of resources. But hey, that's how it goes. Okay, resources go over there. Steel over there. And then, where's my farm plots at? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to start in the middle of here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, water can reach two in. So, what that means is I can place one here and one here. Place the water here and it will reach both these over here. What I want to test quickly though is... How should I do this right now? If I put water here, one, two, three, four, put water here, one, two. I'll, I'll need to make a wall of here. I didn't really want to place in the corners on the edges of here. But I'll have to do that now. No, that's so expensive. Why did that? Oh, come on. That's bad luck. Let's just start at the back of here then. So this needs to be too wide. And then they need, at least let's hope we have enough. To make another layer around this after we put the water. Is this. Technically what I could do is just place these. Because the water shouldn't go too, uh, through the frames too much. And that will allow me to see if the water goes through. Uh, do we have a working sink? I don't even think I made a working oven on this base yet. 
both of those are at the other base. Okay, so working. Let's see. Working. No, wait, wait, wait. We do have a working oven. Where did I put the working oven? Via. Now we just need the working sink. Sink, sink, sink. That's still locked. And the plumbing for dumb shits. And, oh, wait. Completionist. So I can't do that one yet. I want to get the completionist first. I mean, that's more XP while upgrading and stuff as well. I should have actually, as soon as I leveled up, done this so I can get more XP for the roof. But that's a shame now. I need that sink to be able to make some water over here. I think there is a little bit of water in this biome. Yeah, there's a ton of water there. So I could just go fill up a ton of buckets over there and bring it back here. But if you have a working sink, you can just install it here and you don't have to go anywhere for your water. Guys, if it goes through the roof, what I might just have to do, instead of having to pick all this up and waste all the resources, I might just have to put like a plate or something in the roof. The only problem is going to be over here and over here. But if I put a plate under, uh, upside down over here, it should stop the water from going. Let's just hope where all the massive workstations are. Like the ones that reach the roof, like the forge and these over here. Wait, can I place a block on top? Yes, I can. So it's just this one that's too tall. So I, I, I will be able to make the roof a little bit lower in here to make sure the water doesn't fall through on top. Nice. Although that's going to be so much of a hassle doing that. I just need to level up once more and then we can actually make that sink though. So that's going to be awesome. As I even said, this playthrough, I want to make a farm as soon as possible. It's late game. We are level 183, game stage 1,400. For those of you who don't know, max game stage is 1,500. Well, unless it goes higher now because my level, it doesn't seem like my game stage is going to reach there. Unless it caps at 1.5 and then your level still needs to cap at 250, I think. But yeah, usually they cap more or less at the same time. But um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how that goes. I do need water. Unfortunately, we don't have any. I wonder if you throw out a jar of this. No, it doesn't go anywhere. It just wastes water. That's a shame. Wait, why is my wellness and stuff slow again? It was just over 300 while I was busy doing stuff. I didn't get hit by anything. Oh, wait, no, that's not true. I got hit by the demonic behemoth. But you can't tell me he took 15 wellness away per hit. That's insane. I never ever realized how much damage he does. Okay, the stairs should be done. Let's quickly do this. This is a building episode more or less, but I do want to quickly go and just do a little bit of looting. Even if it's a PRI close by, just so we can say we've done a little bit of looting. Armor, we'll put this over there. And we need to put the turret down as well. We need to come back to drop these anyway, so I'll uh, then drop the rebuy on me. For now, I need to fall down without getting too much damage. Sometimes you can fall without making noise, other times you fall and your character just sounds like he's dying. Oh, I just realized I needed to do something more. I even said I was going to put in more stairs over here and I never did. So this is just going to be a building episode then because I need to get this done. If this isn't done, this next horde is going to be horrifying. This is not too bad, too difficult. It's easy enough to do. Right, let me just quickly go put this down though. Yeah, uh, guys, remember some episodes are going to be a little bit slower than the rest. You can't always have them just action filled. But you can be assured that when they're action filled, they're action filled. Like, whoa, damn. Um, Let's see. How am I going to do this? I need to make the stairs go up. So basically, when they fall, yeah. They need to go up these stairs over here. I don't want to have the stairs too far back, though. Because that might make them do a little bit more damage over here. I'm going to test how this is going to work right now. Okay, this needs to go a little bit higher. I can't afford to block off these at the back. Because if I block them off, I won't be able to upgrade them. And then all the weight will come caving in. Yeah, I can perhaps put the stairs over here, like a pyramid shape at the back. So you're going to be able to run up here, and then you're going to be able to run up from this side as well. Guys, we only have so much rebar left, so I really need to be careful with how I do this. The stairs need to be first, and then I can do the pyramid thing. Um, Let's do this. Make sure I upgrade them first, and I need to make sure that, yeah, like this one over here. It needs to be reinforced concrete. Okay, so we can take these out, we don't have to worry too much. Remember, the stairs themselves mustn't have any hollow points or weak points inside. Underneath, it's not that bad. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I did this one down. Yeah, there's one block that are down there. Uh, but that's a waste of resources. If they can stay on top and you don't worry, have to worry about the stuff caving in, then just keep it like that. You don't want to waste or end up wasting way too much resources. I just want to make sure this doesn't go too far in. Because the problem is going to fall down here and they're going to get stuck on these over here. 
Unless I just put one of these. Oh, I dropped it. I need to get some of that concrete mix or that uh, those concrete blocks, the stairs, and put a corner block in there. Just so it helps the zombies a little bit make it up there. Okay, so stairs, and let's just test this out. Actually close this down, can I? Yeah, there you go. Nice. So I can close it off and use it like that, and I just realized there's some loot bags over here. Technically, guys, the ground all around your base needs to be concrete, especially the higher difficulty goes. I need to still try this out. Uh, the higher difficulty, the more damage they do. So this, this floor needs to be double thick reinforced concrete at least. Okay, a ton of zombies are starting to spawn in, so we just have to watch our backs right now. Guys, the thing that really creeps me out about this biome, and it's still, it'll never stop creeping me out, is the thunder. Thunder usually means it's a horde knight, and now when you just hear it because it's a tough biome, it's creepy as hell. Okay, so this one's gonna go this way. I don't want to make this too thick as well. Oh, wait. I really messed up over here. I don't want them standing over here and wailing on this. This whole layer over here needs to go. Oh, why did I do that just now? Why or oh, why did I do that? I think if this um, axe over here was a little bit higher uh, quality, it would two-shot this. I could have sworn I could two-shot these. I don't know why all of a sudden it's taking so many shots. Did I take a model for something? I think the level only has to do with the amount of mods you can take, not the damage. But I've definitely earlier, to, I think it was the previous episode, I was able to two-shot these. I don't know if I accidentally took something off that gives me strength or a strength perk. Yeah, now this needs to be titanium or reinforced concrete as well. You don't want the zombies standing down here exploding and then just getting underneath easily. They will still be able to do it more or less, unfortunately. But the, uh, the, the nice thing is where they make the hole, you just do fill that hole in with concrete. So since they made a hole over here in the destroyed stone, we can now fill it up with some tougher stuff. Okay, now just make sure I don't misplace because we don't have enough blocks, John. Um, the thing is, I don't want to have it too close to their full point. Otherwise, they're not going to make it up here. Okay, can I make this a... I might be able to do this. If I take this corner one out... I can make this stairs, like so. Yeah, they can just do this. These stairs don't need to be as high as the rest. Although it does look a little bit bad that it's not exactly the same. Um, at least it'll, uh, they turn in and they have to go up another flight of stairs, slowing them down a little bit. Unfortunately, this was a little bit badly designed, guys. But like I said, I, if I were to go one block further, the stairs would start over here. Meaning when the zombies fall down, the stairs are right next to them and they're, they're not as likely to take those stairs. But what I want to do quickly, I want to do this. Where is the corner block? This. And yeah. Ooh, did I just mess up again? And I fall down. And I can't take it out another block. This is just going to have to be how it's going to be. Unfortunately, I can't change it too much because there's not enough space. This needed to be a little bit further out, but then the zombies are more likely to go for the wall over here. So hopefully this works. I really, really hope this actually works out. Just see, copy shape, copy rotation. I want to make sure this is as wide as can be. Um, at least the zombies from this side should be able to walk up over here. We don't have to worry about that. What I really want to worry about is the fact that they're going to have to run up over here. So this needs to have enough stairs. I don't know how many of them are going to uh, decide to take this block and how many are going to decide to take the other block. Uh, we need to go for this one. Just do this quickly. See, that's, this is what I wanted to do on that side. But I, I couldn't because it's going to make it go under, uh, underneath the zombies way too easily. Or too much. Do this and then normal stairs. Like so. Oh, now this should do the... Oh, I don't have stairs for that side. I want to say that should do the trick. Yeah, there you go. But now... Damn it. Um, I should be able to make some stairs with this though. But I don't have the wood to upgrade it. I just need to remember there's one block over here that needs upgrading, and the rest over here can just be normal blocks. That's a nice thing. We don't have to use the other blocks for this. The weaker blocks. This drives into a, a semi-tough block, so we don't have to worry too much. But we do need to get rid of this one quickly. Okay, so after this, we've used up almost all our resources. Um, we are going to have to go mining or just exploring a ton to get as much iron as possible. The more stuff I can scrap right now, the better it's going to be for us. Hello, zombie. Which means if I wrench cars, that's iron. If I scrap clothing I get, like iron clothing, that's iron. The more iron, doesn't matter where it comes from, the better. 
at the moment we need to be able to just get all our iron without mining so we can do we can kill two birds with one stone basically get as much done as possible so this is done i just need water now unfortunately but building supplies we can put away um i do want to make place that one stay there this is gonna be over here so we just need one concrete block i'm gonna put this at the back over here just to make sure I didn't actually need to place something there that's not supposed to be there. We just do this. Okay. So now we just take that one block that it crafted. And we can actually go put the stairs in. I hope that we don't misplace anything. And also, before I forget. I completely forgot about my SMG over here. We want to be able to use it while looting, right? So we're going to have to make ourselves another weapon. If I'm not mistaken, you need the pistol grip and the pistol barrel. What else do you need? Um, you need the parts. Where's the parts? That's generic. Where's the weapon parts? These are here. Now, these are pistol. Let me just quickly check over here. I don't want to go too long about this. We need what? The pistol and the grip is the right thing. Okay, we need an AK receiver and auto rifle parts. There you go. Auto rifle parts. And then AK receiver is this one. Man, that's actually really expensive to make an SMG if you think about it. But I need to make this SMG to be able to repair this one. If we come across any tough zombies, we want to be able to lay into them with our automatic weapon. Okay, so the rest of the stuff for now we can just place away. Scrap, scrap. Guns over there. The nice thing is, guys, I've noticed zombies don't even really notice I'm up here. They can be right underneath me. As long as I'm just not opening and closing boxes all the time, they don't even realize I'm up here, which is kind of awesome. I want to make sure this is reloaded. Find more ammo. And wait, did I just fill that? Oh, there was. A, I want to say, wow, did I fill that up perfectly? And nope, nope, you did not. Okay, let's just quickly place the rest of these over here. These need to be four, or they can be four wide. I wonder if I shouldn't go for three wide. Um, that way I can make a wall over here because then I can just go one, two, three and put a wall over. And I don't have to worry too much about... Oh, wait, if I make three and put water... And make another three. I am going to have to put a wall on the outside anyways. That's a shame. But you want to have as many plots as possible. So the whole point is to only have one row of water and then four plots next to that. So you can put another row over here and we'll actually each get two. If you, for example, now do this. Put water here, put water here. You're wasting water because they can actually span two blocks. Just please don't tell me you're actually destroying my blocks down there. Okay, just quickly repair this one, and we can be on our way. Do this, do this. We are reloaded on everything, I think. We want to make sure that we are always reloaded. We don't have to go click, click, click. Oh, crap. Okay, this is armor piercing rounds. I keep using armor piercing rounds too much. Although I killed most zombies one shot. Most, not all of them. If I run out of armor piercing rounds, I can always just use normal rounds. I have a ton of them. But it is kind of awesome to be able to just one shot zombies. Oh, wow. Oh, I've also noticed, for those who just saw that, sometimes the laser weapon or the laser ammo from the laser rifle goes right through zombies. I don't know why it does that, but it does do that. Okay, so we have to go and start over here. Remember I said I want to do the outskirts of this whole place, uh, like we were doing with other towns as well, and then hopefully we can get enough loot that we can scrap to get more stuff done. Before I forget, copy shape, uh, copy rotation... There's. Oh, I needed two. I didn't even see this corner over here. At least some of you saw that and was traveling at the screen. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, I'm not going to go up there again because I've wasted some time. I didn't think this was going to be a building episode. Uh, I could loot this place. Now, let's just stick with the perimeter first. There's definitely going to be a ton of uh, zombies over here, so it's going to be nice. But first, we want to get the whole outskirts so we can say at least we have the outskirts done. And then we can go block by block. For some reason, it just works way better. Now, this over here, guys, this church is going to be insane. Um, usually, there's a ton of tough zombies in there, but now it's a church. It's one of the tough parts. And even this one over here. This one has a bunker underneath, so there might be a behemoth waiting downstairs. Just the thoughts is terrifying. Okay, so our marker... Ooh, this apartment building is also going to be insane. It's weird. I don't really know the... Oh, crap. And she's gonna vomit at me. Uh, where's my laser? Oh, there you go. Forgot that I took off my laser weapon. 
Come on, shoot the damn vulture. See, we're getting these guys flying around way more right now. Ooh, look at all these sleepers. See, guys, I don't really even know the front of this building. Because I always do the back of the building first. So now we have to go where? That over there. Okay, so we're almost there. Damn, look at all the cops. It goes to show you game stage is really high. When you're just having mutated and um, tough and all those zombies spawning. You're barely having any of the weaker zombies spawn. I love it. I love the fact that everything's so tough. Although, I don't know if I'm going to do this medical center over here, guys. Wait, this isn't a medical center. This looks... This place is definitely going to have some hidden secrets. Some really, really tough bosses to kill. Okay, now, we need to go inside of here first. I wonder if I can... Yes, you can. I don't need the engine stuff right now, so I'll rather just destroy them as such and get some iron. Although, I have no idea how much... Just 19 iron. Is that going to be worth it, though? Okay, so, let's see. Boom. The nice thing is with this laser uh, sniper rifle, we'll be able to kill more zombies uh, because you stop the regen and you hit them. So even if they don't die from the first shot, the nice thing is that they do stop their regen so you can't really die too easily or they you don't have to waste too much ammo, basically. Okay, um, do this. As much iron as we can, even if we have to wrench cars. I'm not going to wrench the cars on the street yet. What I'm going to do is instead, I'm going to only wrench the cars in the POI we loot. POIs we loot, and then that's it for now. Technically, since this is a part of the POI, I need to do this. This is all iron over here. I'm just... Oh, wait, wait. This is the one with the bunker underneath, right? This is the one with the steel bunker underneath. I need to make sure that we're not too encumbered right now. Because this is going to be hectic. This is, this is going to be a tough one. I wonder if I shouldn't let the zombies come down here. Um... Are they coming to us? Did they even see us just now? Are they upstairs on that side? Let's just do this so the zombies have to break this block to get to us. And then we can focus on this one over here. Come on, please, please, please give me the accessories. Oh, Those are the only ones, for those who don't know. They and the utility workers are the only one that has a slight chance of dropping you the gyrocopter parts. I need to arrange all of these as well, but for now, that's fine. It's back here. Oh, yeah, this is where the bunker is. I never knew you could actually go through there. It goes to show how much you actually pay attention in this game. Please give me the gyrocopter parts. I really, really need them. I'd like it very much if you could actually just... Do that for me. Oh, no, doggy. Did he come around? Yep, he's going to go through the door over here, and now I can actually hit him with this. Wait, what? Clever doggy. Clever, clever doggy. I thought he was going to go around and get caught in the crossfire. That's actually insanely smart just now. Okay, we need to be careful of behemoths and stuff like that in this building. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this game has a ton of sleepers that you just really don't want to run into all willy-nilly. You need to make sure you're actually prepared for it. Okay, so we're going to close this off. We need to arrange as much as possible as we go. Um, I'm putting off my mining helmet so we can have our night vision on. Because that way, we should technically be kind of invisible to the zombies. I oh, know this one's bugged, so I have to scrap that. That's actually a nice cheat. You can just keep reading these and you'll keep, you keep getting them back and back and back. So you get an infinite amount of... Oh, hello. You get an infinite amount of um, XP. Although it's going to take you forever to actually do that, though. Guys, this episode is going to be a little bit longer than 40 minutes. But I mean, uh, every now and then it's going to be a little bit f uh, longer, a little bit shorter. I actually want to keep it uh, 40 minutes, so it's more or less spread out evenly. But 40 minutes then again feels way too short. You know what? I'm going to do this. If I have to run away, I can just run through the TV. Almost messed up over there. Okay. The bunk is where the tough part's going to be. Yeah, you can actually fall down there. Hello, hello, hello. Any fire zombies? It's so easy to get the attention over here, though. You can take, I think this also gives you iron, right? Just a little bit, but it does give you iron. And the more of those you do, the more you actually get. That's awesome. Armor piercing. You can go into the roof. I never knew there was a roof, actually. Wait, was there always a roof? I can't remember that. 
Okay, so we're gonna go through there. There's no one in the bathroom. The only thing that I'm really rooting right now, guys, are medicine cabinets and these these water bottles because this water is what fills you the best. And it gives you two wellness. Nice. I need to get my wellness as high as possible, as fast as possible. Come on, it's shot. It's a shame you can't get like a chance at laser tech effect on these zombies by using your rifle or your pistol. Imagine this is a chance to stop their regen. That would be kind of cool. You have to waste a ton of ammo and go through a ton of ammo, but still, it might be really awesome. Just please, no behemoth hiding out of here. If you open one of these up, guys, remember, behemoth can fit through a 2x2 two two block. So you're not as safe as you think. Okay, so now we can go into the roof over here quickly. Just want to see what's up here. Uh, let me just get my SMG at the ready. No behemoth, right? Okay, nice. Able to kill him fast. The problem really is going to be the bunker. That's where all the tough zombies are. I'm even expecting there to be a behemoth down there. That's how tough that bottom is. So, let me just quickly check if I've looted everything of importance. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Be careful, guys. You can't scrap a crowbar. I've actually lost a pistol because my inventory was full. I wanted to scrap that out of the inventory box and it actually just scrapped my pistol. I don't know why it auto scraps your pistol in that situation, but that kind of really sucked. We still hear a ton of fire downstairs. We're going to go downstairs now and say hello. Okay, we need to be careful. There's going to be dogs down here. There might be a behemoth. You need to probably crouch. So if the zombies spawn down, well, they should be all respawned in, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, it, it's the worst feeling having a really tough zombie, especially a behemoth, spawning on your head. Ooh, thank you. Oh, you know what? Let's just test this. Let's just test this. Just to see what there is back here. There's definitely a doggy. I want to see if I can't snipe the cop at least. See, this laser pistol is awesome. 2.5k HP on the dog. You see how much he has left? And see, he's not he's not healing himself. That's awesome. That's why I love this. Uh, the fact that we have the laser rifle right now. We don't have to worry too much about the zombies regening. Okay, store shelves. They might have some awesome stuff in there. The fix also, also guys, all these tools. Scrap. We don't need any of them right now, but we do need the iron desperately. So everything that we have an abundance of, why keep it? Please just don't tell me there's going to be a behemoth back there. Okay, um, guessing this one. Thank you. Okay, now this is where the shit's going to hit the fan. You just know there's going to be tough zombies in there, so I'm just going to do this so we can get away at least. Do this. I'm almost going to level up again, damn. It's so easy leveling up in this uh, game. Especially the tougher the zombies are. Nice. All of a sudden, my luck's really awesome with uh, uh, water. I don't usually get water from those. Another problem is they'll be able to see me as soon as I step through this door because there's light in here. Okay. Easy enough. Yeah, hey. Oh. Wait, was there always a bathroom back here? I can't remember there being a bathroom down here. Although, yeah, that's way easier than I thought it's going to be. Usually this place is crawling with tough zombies. Although that's probably just because my game stage is so low, or my weapons are so low, that I really struggle getting through this place. But if you have enough weapons, even doesn't matter how tough the zombies are, as soon as you have those awesome proper weapons, then you don't have to worry about a thing. Also, guys, go check up there. Well, the reason I say this, look at this. Ammo pile. It doesn't always have to show from the bottom. You need to make sure you grab everything when you come to a place like this. Also, for those who don't know, looting in this game levels you up quite fast. It's just that I'm so late game at the moment that looting is kind of boring. <laughs> and it doesn't always give you the stuff you need. I'd much rather every now and then loot something of importance and then scrap than just loot everything and it's crap. But yeah, guys, I'm going to drop this off at the base. I think I just looted everything. Um, next, let's just mark this as next. Yeah, uh, I really want to start that other uh, base as soon as possible, but we need as much iron as possible. We do have quite a bit now, so we can start making rebar every time we get to the base. But yeah, until then, uh, we're just going to keep on looting until we have the resources. At least we now have repaired our other wood base, just in case. So if you guys like this episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.